Hi dear friends, welcome back to Travel Vlog by SHK. A walk along Mutrua's Corniche. The walk along Mutrua's Corniche is one of the most rewarding in Oman, with whitewashed houses overlooked by mountains and forts, in turn, the buildings gaze at the comings and goings of small and large boats. From the fish sook at the western end, where there is most car parking, the walk will take you east towards Old Muscat along a level paved route, though do look out for drainage holes in the paving stones. The route is under 5 kilometers, so allow at least an hour. Highlights will include the two large cream-colored yachts in the harbor, which are the Sultan's personal boats, El Said and Folk El Salama. The first of the whitewashed houses is Beit El Oud, which marks the edge of Sur El Loesha, a residential area whose residents actively discourage visitors. This occupies the original Portuguese settlement site that dated from around the turn of the 17th century. The settlement's defenses originally had four round corner towers, of which two remain and a third is now a circular coffee shop. Further east, after the fort, is the small, eclectic Gallia's Museum of Modern Art and the start of the original road to Muscat that was constructed in the 1920s and offers an alternative route between the two towns if you take the old road up the hill which overlooks old Muscat. The Corniche continues past the gigantic incense burner monument. Passing the community at Kalbu, with its ornamental park and small beach, the Muscat Gate Museum can be visited or walked under. Keeping to the left-hand side of the road will eventually take you directly onto Al-Alam Palace, while the right-hand side sweeps around past Beit El Zubair Museum and on towards the National Museum. Mutra Mutra spreading south from its crescent bay towards the chocolate-brown escarpments of the impressive Ophiolite Hills, Mutra is the engaging port town that historically served Old Muscat. Mutra's success as a commercial hub came despite the nearby harbor of Old Muscat being more sheltered and having a better anchorage, as Mutra was accessible to camel caravans from Oman's interior. The southern gate behind the Sukh, if approached from the sea, was the area where the camels, perhaps bearing dates destined for India, would be unloaded and reloaded with manufactured goods bound for the towns of northern Oman. This camel trade continued until the 1960s. The sweep of whitewashed merchants' houses, which form part of Sir al Loesha, the forbidden enclave, overlooked the bay and were previously set directly on the beach. Now houses and shore are separated by a modern road, shown as Al Bari Road on maps, but always referred to as the Corniche. Until recently, there were five well located, relatively inexpensive hotels overlooking the harbor the Marina Hotel and the Nassim Hotel. If you wish to be one, book well in advance as they are small. A few good restaurants augment the numerous coffee shops between the fort and fish market where you can eat Indian or Pakistani food. Behind the Corniche is a maze of streets that run into Mutra Sukh, which is easily the largest Sukh in Oman. Overlooking the eastern edge of the town and the sea is the old fort, built on an unscalable, dark crag. Though impressive if viewed from the sea approaches, the fort is simply two towers joined by a narrow curtain wall. As in Old Muscat, there were originally two forts guarding Mutra, the other fort, Arbak, was demolished when Mina Sultan Qaboos port, which occupies the entire bay opposite the town, was developed as Muscat's harbor in the early 1970s. The western edge of the bay is a mixture of customs and port services, with an active fish sook receiving daily catches including tuna, hamar, grouper, and sherry, emperor, from the local fishermen in the morning. Mina Sultan Qaboos, Mina is Arabic for port, has had most of its commercial shipping diverted to the northern port at Suhar and is to be turned into a leisure facility, servicing the increasing numbers of cruise ships that visit in the winter. Plans include building luxury hotels set within landscaped grounds within the port area. Transport is by taxi, easiest found to the west of the main Sook entrance or at the fish roundabout at the western end of the Corniche, where minibuses also wait for passengers to go into Rui. Some of the luxury hotels, including Al Bustan Palace and the Shangri-La, both of which are several kilometers east of Mutra, offer a complimentary limited shuttle service to Mutra for their guests.
please like and subscribe and click the bell icon enable all alerts to get new video updates. Share this video and channel with your friends and family. Bye from SHK.